Imagine you're in this really funny room and this funny room just has a bunch of different dresser drawers that you can pull out. Now I've addressed this in another video that was more complex, but what are the basics of epigenetics? Like our bodies are, we're born with a set of DNA. We cannot change our actual DNA. But what we can do is influence how our DNA is expressed and the different genes that are expressed. And what that means is, imagine that you have just some DNA, that some genes that haven't been expressed, and you go through your entire life not knowing that you really have those genes to be expressed. And then you, you know, pass along and you never got to express those genes, but you didn't know they were there, so it made no difference. The point here is that we are generally more capable of doing things than we even think because we don't know if we're activating our full genetic potential. Now epigenetics is sort of the study of how different lifestyle factors and different things influence how our genes are expressed. Now I'm going to very much so oversimplify this, but I want you to imagine, you know, that you live a seemingly healthy lifestyle. That healthy lifestyle is allowing certain genes to express and allowing you to be able to do different things. Maybe genes that express more brain function or genes that express more stem cell function, whatever, right? Oversimplification. Maybe you're someone that lives a very unhealthy lifestyle. So other genes are expressed or other genes are suppressed, right? So maybe you're expressing genes that make you feel not so good or maybe you're not expressing genes that would make you feel so good. The point is, having access to these genes is one of the most important things. So let's break it all down. Now after this video, I want you to check out Thrive Market. So no matter what kind of diet you're doing, whether you're doing keto, paleo, fasting, whatever, Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store. They're a big supporter and a sponsor of this channel, so thank you very much. But how they work is just really cool. So you basically go online, you select what kind of diet you're doing, or you select what kind of foods you want, and then you can go and you can add them to your cart. It gets delivered to your doorstep in a couple of days. It is super easy, and a lot of times it's more economical than going to the grocery store because you're not having to get in your car and go there, and their prices are super competitive anyway. So there's a link down below that'll save you 25% off your first order along with a free gift if you use the link that's in the description. So big thank you to Thrive and big thank you to you for supporting the brands that support this channel. Back to this room full of drawers, okay? So if you are standing in this room full of drawers, you have a world of different genes that you can access. But sometimes these drawers will be locked, right? And that means you're not accessing them. But other times these drawers can be like really flimsy and wobbly and you pull that drawer out and you try to express those genes to make a change in your body or to do whatever or for you know standard function, but it's so flimsy, the genes just like fall to the floor, right? So you have mutation, you have abnormalities, you have just improper function. So we have two different issues here. We have the lack of expression, but we also have poor expression or, or mutation, things like that, which is a whole different story. Now, how we change our epigenetics is really a world that's just starting to be investigated and discovered like over the last couple of decades. So for example, if I live a healthy lifestyle by exercising and things like that, I'm probably expressing some certain genes that are causing additional benefits. And if I am eating the right kinds of foods, which we're still kind of discovering, right? What are the right kinds of foods? What are not? That's going to trigger a different result. Now I've covered this in other videos, but one of the reasons that I am a fan of a ketogenic lifestyle isn't because I want to push a kind of dogmatic ketogenic agenda, but it's because I feel like it allows me to live to my fullest potential and there's a lot of evidence behind how that works. So one of the reasons that your drawers might be locked is because you might have what is called histone deacetylase occurring, which you very likely do, right? Now that keeps those drawers locked, but ketones, when you are in ketosis, they have a powerful effect in what is called histone deacetylase inhibition. So you're stopping the histone deacetylase. So you're stopping the lock from forming, meaning you're able to access those genes better. Now this is what I would consider like the holy grail of keto and why I talk about it a lot, but you may or may not be doing keto. It's just explaining kind of my reasoning behind it. Point is, that is one way that our drawers can be locked is through histone deacetylase. But there's other ways that our drawers get locked. And one of these is methylation. Methylation is where you have a bunch of methyl groups that attach to DNA. And when that happens, that can also make a drawer, let's just for simple analogy sake, rather than put a lock on the door, it's like the drawer is just stuck. You ever have a dresser drawer that you just can't pull out? Well, in your genetic library, if you have hypermethylation, maybe that drawer is gonna get stuck. Okay. If you have too little methylation, the drawer might be wobbly. And then when you pull the drawer out, everything falls out. 
Again, oversimplification, and I am not a genetic scientist or a genetic researcher. I'm some dude on the internet, but I get fascinated by this stuff. So how our lifestyle influences our belly fat and our brain function is so superficial because what we really need to be looking at is how our lifestyle is affecting our epigenetic clock, our actual aging, and how it's influencing our ability to recover, our ability to get better at things. There's a lot of scientists in the epigenetic world that have kind of demonstrated that our belief system and how we like change our lifestyle can really influence like other positive changes that has this compounding effect. Anyway, if you go too far down the rabbit hole, you start sounding like a weirdo. But the point is, epigenetics are fascinating, and there's a lot that we can do with lifestyle. There's also a lot that we can do with pharmaceutical intervention, too, that is now coming out. There's a lot we can do with exercise. And there's a lot that we can do with utilizing ketones and using a ketogenic diet. So as always, if you want to hear more about this kind of stuff, and DNA, and genetics, and epigenetics, comment down below and let us know. I'll see you tomorrow.